Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to learn about the fabrication of an expansion appliance that is a part of a fixed appliance therapy. In those cases in which we have planned that there is a constricted or narrow arch due to any abnormal habit, for example, a mouth breathing habit in younger children. So in those cases, how we can fabricate an appliance that will result in the expansion of the arch over a short period of time, that is a rapid maxillary expansion. So here is a case of an 8 year old girl that had a prolonged habit of mouth breathing which resulted in a deep bite and an increased overjet as we can see over here. Along with this there is a constriction in the maxillary arch. So as a part of fixed appliance therapy in the first step we need to band the molars. So in this case we decided to band the first permanent molars as we can see over here. So after this we poured the cast. So now when we have poured the cast we have the bands ready on the molars as we can see over here. Now we will plan out the expansion appliance fabrication. So in the second step after fabrication of bands we will mark we will do some marking so we will mark the midline to have a symmetrical placement of the expansion screw and do some needful wire bending to have the symmetrical extension of that appliance so we will have a marking on the molar that is the deciduous molar extending to the distal of the deciduous canine in both the cases so this will result in symmetrical expansion of the arch so once we have done the markings now this is the extension screw that we are taking out so this is supplied with the keys this is the leonis extension screw there are two keys and the main component or the extension screw. This is 9mm, we have also a 11mm version of this screw. This needs to be placed at a proper depth with an arrows indicating backwards so that we can use the key in a proper adequate uh, direction for the expansion. Now we need to bend uh, these arms of this screw so that we can attain the desired depth of the screw at which we can place this extension screw. So once when we have done with the bending of the arm, now we will check it on the cast for the proper adaptation and now we can see that the posterior arm should touch the band while the anterior should rest on the embrasure between the canine and the first deciduous molar as you can see. So both the arms on the anterior as well as the posterior aspect should touch and now we will form an index where this extension screw will be placed so that it doesn't get displaced when we are fabricating it so it is the actual position which the screw will rest on the pallet on the patient's pallet So 
this is complete the index part now we will check the titration the extension screw and check for its placement that both the arms are resting at the desired uh, position so that the posterior arms touch the band while the material rest on the space or the embrasure between canine and residual first molar so this completes the third step the first step was that we had to do the band that is the band adaptation on the molar the second step was to the marking for the wire bending the third step was forming the index and the fourth step is the proper adaptation before we begin with the shouldering part After getting an adequate adaptation of the arms of the extension screw, both on the distal as well as on the uh, anterior aspect, as we can see over here, now we will plan out uh, the wire bending for the molar aspect, that is the cervical aspect, using a 20 or 19 gauge wire, so that we can get a symmetrical extension. So we begin with the wire bending for the molar. step we are beginning with the soldering so we need to stabilize these fire bending so that we can begin with the soldering Once we have stabilized with the back, now we are going to check for the symmetrical adaptation of the screw and the wire so that we can begin with the perfect placement as we can see over here. Now when we have placed it adequately, now we can stabilize this entire assembly with the help of plaster of Paris. So now after stabilizing we can begin with our soldering part. So now this is stabilized completely as you can see over here. 
we have covered up the screw part and now we are placing the plug over the joint area that we need to keep it on the shoulder part and the excess part or the excess wire or the excess arm would be removed subsequently but before that we need to shoulder it so now this soldering was completed and there are the points so we need to just now remove it as we can see that it is easily removed however in cases of molars mostly the molars would come out when we try to displace it so don't worry about that the cast would be lost but the entire assembly is perfectly ready So as we can see that we have removed the stone from the bands and the entire assembly is ready now and we need to cut out the excess extensions that we have over here and begin with the finishing part. So after finishing our appliance is ready and we can place it in the patient's mouth for attaining the desired expansion. <laughs> 